Hey, Paul Keener here. We're rolling. We're live. Check it out. Um, so earlier I showed you um, a Mediterranean house gecko and it was a super crappy video. Um, really crappy picture. Um, extremely blurry. You might have seen the gecko, but um, I'm back over here by this nice well lit uh, structure and uh, yeah so what I did is uh, oh there we go we got that nice video going on again oh my gosh come on come on quit it quit it okay so um, I ran and I jumped on that delicately because I I care about furniture that's not mine whoosh swung up there like a man out of a jungle or something like that I like to think and then au oh, voila look at him his name's Henry me and Henry get along very well good little bitty Henry aren't you good little bitty Henry's oh oh he's so nice aren't you aren't you just so nice this is a Mediterranean house gecko, and they're considered a a pest by some people here in the Gulf Gulf uh, Gulf Coast, East Coast area, Mississippi particularly, um, because they are actually pretty much immune to pesticides, and so they they don't they don't get hurt by those at all. So you can't really get rid of them. They can get about five and a half to six inches long. Um, their body, their tail can hang off a little bit longer. Um, their tails will actually break if they feel threat. But it's a little bit harder to break their tails than one might think. But basically what they do is they shake their body back and forth really hard to snap that, that, that bone back there and then it rips the entire tail off. I have a delicate touch. Because that's what a little bit of guy needs, ain't that little Henry? Oh, little Henry, Henry, why aren't you blinking? I don't have any eyelids. Oh, really, Henry? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Mediterranean house geckos, they don't have eyelids. Um, they are completely nocturnal. And they're almost... Uh, mm, basically see-through um, very cool my thumb is about two inches so his body's about two inches with his tail probably about around four inches ish so he's a really cool guy um, once again I just want to show you show him a little love show him a little love shout out to Nicole she knows what I do I pet these suckers I pet these suckers real nice, and I tell them, I love you. I love you, Henry. Not in a weird way, but just like in a real respectful kind of manner, you know? Man, oh man, you're so cool looking. Um, and so, that's Henry, Mediterranean house gecko, over here in Mississippi. Um, he wants to go now. So what I'm going to do, whoa, 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 easy, easy killer. I don't want you to fall. And blah, blah, blah. There he goes. Oh, no, no. No. Henry. No, it's horrible. No. Just the worst strategy ever. Come on now. Oh, okay, there you go. You really want to trek all the way up that hill? Come on now, you don't want to do that, do you? Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Alright. So, I want to put him back up here because he actually... He actually lives kind of up here. So there you go. There you go, buddy. Holy crap. Okay. Well, you guys seen it. I didn't throw him down there. That was his choice. You chose that life, Henry. I'm sorry it had to be that way. So I'm going to leave him down there because he'll figure it out. He'll get back up there. Um, 
Yep, Mediterranean house gecko. Really, really cool. I, I really do feel bad about that though. I wish he wouldn't have, I wish he wouldn't have fallen from that height. Um, it makes me think that he's in some serious shock, but he'll be okay. Oh man, come on now, man. There's cats around here and stuff. All right, hold on. I don't want this video to be too long, but I don't want Henry to get hurt. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this real simple for him. Henry, Henry, go, go, go in there. Go in there. There we go. That's where he lives. Okay, Paul Keener, catch ya.